Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be reviewing the new Amanda Rich Lee washi tapes. She came out with her own washi tape collection a while back and she kindly sent me some of the sets for me to use and show you guys and I decided to do a review on them in case you're interested in purchasing them and would like to know everything about them first. I opened them on a recent Bujo vlog that I will link in the description and she also sent me one of her dotted notebooks and I will leave the review about it in the description box as well. So the first washi tape set that I got is the Lil Doodles washi tape set. It includes five washi tapes that match the colors of the notebooks that she created with Amanda's designs on them. The washi tapes are adhesive sparkle tape, not normal paper tape, so they have a little shine to them and they are not smooth. They feel like a nice, rough, smooth type of texture, but it's a really nice texture and the designs are in metallic foil. The washi tapes come with a protective adhesive, which I never saw before in a washi tape, but it's a really nice touch and you have 5 meters of washi tape in each of them and they are quite thick in comparison with a similar paper washi tape. The Lil Doodles set costs $14 without including the shipping, so do check the shipping details because the shipping depends on where you live and I'll talk about that more at the end of the video where I'll mention my opinion about it, but I will also link the shipping details from her website in the description down below if you want to check that out. I'm using her own notebook to swatch the washi tapes and on the paper they feel really nice. They are thicker than normal washi tape because they are adhesive washi tape, so just keep that in mind. But they feel and look like they are extremely good quality and they are three squares wide in a dotted notebook. They are not 100% opaque except for the black one, but you can't really see the dots underneath the other colors, so they are semi-opaque, I guess, but they are not completely opaque like the black one. Now, she also sent me two of the six basic sets of washi tapes that she created. She sent me the light monochrome set and the dreamy pastel set, but she also has the dark monochrome set, the dark neutral set, the light neutral set, and the sweet pastel set. They include four washi tapes in total, three that are normal paper washi tape, and one that is adhesive sparkle washi tape. The paper washi tapes are thinner and less opaque than the adhesive ones. The designs on the washi tapes are the same from set to set. The colors are the only thing that changes. You have one with diagonal lines, one with a grid, another that has her doodle designs, and the sparkle tape that has some stars and polka dots and random glitter. Each set costs $11 without including the shipping. On paper, the paper ones are less opaque than the adhesive one, but they are pretty much the same colors as on the roll, which is amazing because when you see a washi tape on the roll, sometimes it's not that pigmented on the paper, which is not the case with her washi tapes.
So as you guys requested, I'm testing the washi tapes on top of each other. With a paper washi tape on top of the adhesive ones, you can see the colors below it, but you can't really see the designs except for maybe the black one. So they are great for journaling because you can mix and match and they are all kind of going together. And the adhesive one on top of the other adhesive washi tapes, it's a bit opaque. But with the white one on top, you can kind of see a bit of color from the ones below it. Now, can you write on top of them? That was something that I never tested, but you guys asked me to try, so I'm testing different pens on top of both types of washi tapes. With the Muji gel pen, you can kind of write on top of the paper washi tape, but it's a bit hard and the pen starts skipping a little bit. And on top of the adhesive one, it's even worse because of its texture. With the Tombwood Wool Brush Pen, it's awful to write on top of the paper one, and on top of the adhesive washi tape, I could feel the tip of the pen getting damaged because of the texture of the adhesive washi tape. A Sharpie marker was fine on top of the paper washi tape, and it was perfect on top of the adhesive one, so I highly recommend Sharpies for these ones. And the Pigma Micron pens were just awful as well on both of them. The last test was to see if they would smudge. I let them dry for about 5 minutes and the shopping one was the one that was perfect on the washi tapes. The other pens is just a big no cause they don't work well on them. So now that you know all about them, I wanted to give you my honest opinion about them since I touched them and I tried them myself. The adhesive washi tapes are really, really, really good quality and they seem to be really fun to use on pen letters and stuff, but the ones from the Lil Doodle set I think are a bit limited. It's not that you can't use them however you want, but for me personally, I prefer to have washi tapes that I can use in most of the things that I do and create. And I feel like the ones on that set are quite limited because they don't go well with everything. Instead of the gold and the silver, I would prefer the doodles to be black or white maybe. Something a bit more usable and that would go well with more stuff. The basic sets are great as well. The color combination on the sets I think it's really unique and the washi tape with her designs on those sets is much more usable in spreads and themes, which I really like. I prefer them that way a thousand times more. But keep in mind that the patterns on the washi tapes are pretty common, especially the grids. I have some washi tapes that look exactly like those, but I also understand that the concept here with the sets is the whole set and not the individual washi tape. And I also think that it's practically impossible to create new designs, especially because these sets include a washi tape with her designs. So overall, I think they are great. You can't also purchase them individually, which is a shame and I would love for Amanda to come out with individual washi tapes so you wouldn't have to purchase the whole set. So, final thoughts. Yes, I recommend them, but they are pricey, in my opinion. The sets are great and amazing for spreads, yes, and the color palettes are amazing. The Lil Doodle set, I just think it's too much, at least for me. The washi tape sets are worth it, they are good quality and you're paying for that. They are expensive, yes, not too expensive, but I wouldn't purchase them myself. Also because of the shipping, that is actually more than an actual basic set for me in Europe, of course. I would only purchase them if I would really, really want it to have one of the sets or if she comes out with a really nice and unique set because the shipping costs hurt a little bit. So I hope I was clear with my opinion on them and on the entire review. If I forgot to mention something or if you want me to clarify anything, just leave a comment down below that I will be happy to answer. 
Once again, thank you so much Amanda for the washi tapes. I promise to use them in the future videos. And thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Thank you.